Chapter 31 My hobby is to make a groan you are listening at novelfull.audio. Mr. Wang and his cronies took the VIP room that has been prepared by the restaurant. It was a super fancy room with much expensive decoration. Some rumors even said the decoration alone cost around $10,000 for one room. They took a seat in the VIP room and started to inspect the menu. A few minutes later, one of the cronies stood up and called the waitress. Ms. Waitress, I was told that this restaurant is one of the best restaurants in the city, so why all the menu and ingredients here are just so so and was nothing fancy. Even the blue plate restaurant next door has better ingredients than yours. One of the cronies said with sneers. Yeah, I don't really expect much from this restaurant, but not even serving white truffle. I'm starting to doubt whether this is truly a high dot class restaurant. Another crony added. Soon, most of the cronies filed their complaints. It was too much that even the waitress could infer that something is wrong. The situation was way out of hand. The terrified waitress knows that it would be her doom if this thing was not handled properly, so she called Anna to ask for some help. Anna came to the VIP room and noticed the severity of the situation, she tried to console the dissatisfied cronies and promised to serve their best dish. Gentlemen, the ingredients of this restaurant may not be the top dot class ingredients. But the true value of our restaurant was not in the ingredients, instead of on how our special chefs managed to turn those what you called normal ingredients into precious treasure, and I could guarantee the taste. Anna said while giving her best smile. Bah, I've never heard such a shameless restaurant owner. Mr. Wang, this restaurant didn't show their utmost sincerity and didn't take Mr. Wang into their eyes. Let's just go and change restaurant. Hearing the cronies, Mr. Wang just keeps silent, but there was already a hint of dissatisfaction in his eyes. Anna knows the situation wasn't good for them. If this were to continue, the dinner would fail, and their restaurant's reputation would soon go into the sewer. She gritted her teeth and resolved herself. It was already a do dot or dot die situation, so she decided to take the gamble and put the restaurant's fate in Ray's hands. Mr. Wang, Please trust our chef for this one. If the food was not to your liking, then we will close our restaurant and never dare to open again. Anna said putting her best to convince the guests. Immediately upon Anna's word fall, the crony's smile turned sinister. It was all in their calculation to further plunge the Vermilion restaurant into the deepest hell. Since Ms. Vermilion has said that much, then we couldn't reject your sincerity and decided to enjoy our dinner here. However, the word said must not be taken back. We hope that Ms. Vermilion will remember her words and do her utmost to fulfill them. Sh asterisk T, Anna knows that she has fallen for their trap. They have joined hands to retaliate against Vermilion Restaurant. Actually, Anna wasn't that dumb. She already knows that something was wrong. But the intimacy she and Ray have displayed wouldn't lie, and Anna trusts Ray so much that she knows Ray wouldn't let her down. Before leaving the VIP room, Anna bowed politely to the guest, quickly moving towards Ray who was still chatting with the old man. Ray, the guests have arrived. Our restaurant fate is in your hand, please do your best. Anna said to Ray with expectancy in her eyes. The youth in front of her has brought color and hope into her world. If not for him, Maybe she would have fallen into despair from the crony's scheme. Leave it to me. Ray soothes the worried Anna with a confident smile on his face. He nods to the old man and left toward the kitchen. The old man and mature beauty were pretty interesting, but now he has more important things to do, so naturally, he would prioritize the dinner first for the sake of Anna, Rena, and Aiko. Ray entered the restaurant's kitchen, signifying their war was about to start. Now, let's get started, 45 minutes later in the VIP room. Nanny. USO. Masaka. Kaya. In the VIP rooms, an unnatural scene has been displayed. More than five grown dot up men were moaning like hell and their faces were full of ecstasy. Some of the worst ones even started to tear up their clothes and screamed man. 
It was Mr. Wang and his cronies. The arrogant face before was nowhere to be seen, and replaced with gaping and moaning face, really unsuitable with their age and posture. If the video of them doing this were to be shared with the public, this would certainly gather much attention and quickly become viral. Kaya. Ha. Kimochi. Yemi. Senpai. They were in this super ecstatic mode for about 20 minutes, before slowly regaining their conscience back. The last to gain his conscience back was the adored Mr. Wang. It was pretty interesting to see the most prestigious and calm. Looking man show his inner euphoria without concern. Mr. Wang looks at his cronies with a stern look, seeming to convey that if words about this were to go out, then only doom would await them. Obviously, the cronies understand about this. They could only laugh awkwardly and act stupid about Mr. Wang's threat. The atmosphere was still pretty awkward, but not long after, the cronies came up with a good idea. One of them stood up and called the waitress, telling her to bring Ms. Vermillion and the head chef to the VIP room. Good day to you gentlemen. I am Ray, the head chef of this restaurant. Was our food to your liking or there could be something for us to improve? Two dot person entered the VIP room, they were obviously Ray and Anna. Ray stood there smiling still full of confidence about his food. Bah, what food? This dinner was the trashiest dinner I've ever had. Yeah, yeah. If not for Mr. Wang, there's no way I would get dinner in this trashy place. Without waiting, the cronies get into another outbreak of never-ending complaints, with one following the other, stating either the restaurant or the food is trash. Hearing the cronies insulting his food, Ray was not convinced. He has personally tested the dish and hears how much they moan about his dish. This wave of complaints was clearly another scheme to bring down their restaurant. Ray looked at the guests with dissatisfaction in his heart, but he's still trying to smile to maintain the image of the restaurant. Dear guest, from the start most of you have a complaint about the dish was trash or the restaurant was trash. But could you give a better idea about the part of the dish that you didn't like? Ray's words instantly silenced the complaints. They know deep down in their heart that the dish was superb and they have nothing to complain about. Even so, work is work. They need to do this to gain a better advantage for their business. One of the cronies was better than the others. He was an old player in this business, so he immediately knows how to respond to Ray. Ha, huh, if I say the dish is trash, then the dish is trash. How should we know which part if we are not the chef? The other cronies look at him with epiphany, it's like they have met their savior and quickly adapt to the situation. Yes, the dish was indeed trash. Ms. Vermillion, if we're not wrong, you have said that you would close the restaurant if we are unsatisfied with your dish. Now almost everyone is unsatisfied with your food, please don't forget your responsibility, dot Anna's face paled at his words. She looks at Ray with some tears on her face. She knows it was not Ray's fault and Ray's food was superb, but she didn't have any solution to the current predicament. She could only hope that Ray was able to bring another miracle to her life. Hee hee, it was not that us gentlemen were unreasonable. Ms. Vermillion, we could forget your words if you just spend one dot night drinking tea with the Honorable Mr. Wong here. Their attention quickly shifted into the still calm Mr. Wong. Different from the others, Mr. Wong didn't file any complaint and choose to keep silent from the start. Still, everybody knows that the calmer a beast, the more dangerous he is. The situation was really unfavorable to both Anna and Ray. Anna was not a newbie in this business. She knows that spending one night drinking tea was not as simple as it said. Especially after spending some intimate moments with Ray. The thought of her doing shameful things with another man had just sent a chill down her spine. On the other side, Ray was glaring dangerously at Mr. Wong and his cronies. He was considering using the golden treasure chest or spend all his system points in a draw. Suddenly, a voice came in, and instantly attract everyone's attention, ho ho ho, it seems there were some interesting things happening here. Chapter 32 Mr. Side Character You Are Listening at Novel Full.audio 
The old man entered the room without anyone noticing. He glanced at the cronies and pulled a chair for him to sit. Pardon this old man for intruding, but this old man was pretty interested in the situation here. Noticing the old man didn't give any regard toward them, like every third-rate villain character in every novel, the cronies scream at the old man dissatisfaction. Hey old man, don't you have anything better to do? Don't you know we are doing important things right here? A crony said to the old man. Yeah, don't you know who you are messing with? Not including the others, even the humble me is the son of the maple.leaf police vice head. Quickly scram and don't forget to beg for mercy. Another crony said. The other cronies also didn't keep silent. They take this chance to humiliate the old man and lick Mr. Wong's shoes. Deliberately insult the old man while praising Mr. Wong on their side. Anna couldn't bear how those men humiliate the fragile dot looking old man in front of her. She was ready to take the old man out of the room, but Ray has stepped in first. Ray looked toward the cronies with expectancy in his heart. He has read many novels about the main character face dot slapping the villain. And now, the chance is right in his hand, how could he be not excited about this? Humph, ignorant. You guys could only bark on no bites. Ray said to the cronies, full of disdain. It was really gratifying to see the shocked face of the cronies. The face of the cronies was red full of anger right now, if looks could kill, then Ray would have died a thousand times already. Here it comes. Fool. This young master gives you the last chance. Kneel and beg for mercy, if not you would receive the consequence. The cronies have long forgotten about Anna's thing. The old and young man in front of them has insulted their dignities. And for spoiled second generation like them, their face cannot be insulted by such a commoner. Ray ignored the man's remark and continued in his face dot slapping mood. Hee <laughs> hee. You guys could only boast the glory of your parents or connection. Really pathetic that lion parents would have dog kids like you guys. These remarks darken the cronies' faces, but Ray wasn't about to stop yet. Don't say you guys, even your most treasured Mr. Wong, in my eyes is nothing more than a dog. This time, Ray attacked the silent Mr. Wong. He was really angry now. He has kept his mouth shut, and hold back to not insult the young and old man before him. And the young man still insults him without holding back. Kid, if you still wanted your mouth, kneel and beg mercy for an apology right now. Mr. Wong said with a darkened face. Hee <laughs> hee, you could still say things like that. I wonder how you will start to beg for mercy after this. Ray smiled and glanced at the old man. Open your eyes clearly, don't you know who this benevolence old man is? Ray said with a smug on his face. Aina has said that the identity of the old man is pretty special. He is either a member of a hidden family or a top brass in the government. Eh, it seems something is wrong with that statement. Never mind, Ray decides to ignore the statement's peculiarity and choose to look at Mr. Wong and the cronies full of smug. Hee <laughs> hee, why don't you guys start to kneel now? Mr. Wong. The cronies. Anna. The old man. Silence at why you guys didn't say anything. Ray starts to notice the oddities of the situation. The old man took a deep breath and started to move toward Ray, whispering something to him. Kid, I'm really happy with all your thought about me. But I'm not what you think, this old man was not a member of government nor influential person. How could those guys know about this old man and kneel to me? Eh. The old man's revelation petrified Ray. If the old man wasn't someone like he thought was, then wasn't this really a catastrophe for him? Wait. The scenario is wrong, wasn't this was planned for me to face dot slap those b asterisk asterisk cheese? How could it didn't go as planned? Um host, Aina must remind host that the host was reincarnated here as a side character or mob. Not as the main character. Well, young lads, you don't need to worry though. Even if this old man wasn't an influential figure, just one slap from this old man could end those guys' life. 
how about it? This old man still owes you a favor. The old man said to Ray with a, leave it to me, face. No, thank you for your suggestion, old man. But I need to think of a better solution. Humph, up to you then. But just remember that this old man could instantly wipe them out without anyone knowing. The old man once again said while winking his eyes. Ray was really speechless at the old man. Wasn't this old man supposed to be a hidden expert? Why did his personality was, a little bit eccentric? On the other hand, Mr. Wong and his cronies looked at Ray with displeasure. At first, they were still wondering about the identity of the old man, however, with the change of Ray's expression and the old man whispering with him. They could conclude that all of this was just a farce. Young man, we'll give you another chance. Kneel for mercy and give that woman for Mr. Wong, then we will let you off this time. The cronies' demand keeps getting worse. Now they wouldn't even bother their thirst for Anna and directly state they wanted Anna to be Mr. Wong's woman. He he he, woman, you should be proud that Mr. Wong has taken a liking for you. Being Mr. Wong woman might be your biggest achievement in life. Those cronies' words sent shivers toward Anna's spine. She looked towards Ray and felt that the situation has become helpless now. Well for her, her two daughters are her best priority, if this could ensure her daughter's well-being, so let it be. Her only regret was she has fallen for the boy in front of her. Sleeping with another man might make the boy disgusted and would have no other contact with her. Clapping sounds all of a sudden, a clapping sound filled the room. A beautiful mature woman in Chong Sam came into the room and everyone couldn't avert their attention from this beautiful woman. Hey, how long did you want to continue this farce? Before was an old man, and now this lady. Do you think we are stupid or what? One of the cronies shouts full of irritation to Ray. Once was enough, and now the boy wants to deceive them again, does he take him as a slap, hey, what the slap 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 Eno. Slap. The crony was shocked at the slap. He glared full of murderous intention at the slapper, but when he noticed the one who slapped him was Mr. Wong, all his displeasure straight away gone into the sewer. Mr. Wong, what do you mean by? Before even the guy finishes his words, Mr. Wong has pulled him down for a kneel. Ms. Eliza, I'm sorry if this guy's word has offended you. This guy was still a novice and didn't know who he was talking with. I promised you that I will teach him well after this. The calm and aloof Mr. Wong was now full of anxiety. Like the cronies, he too at first was dissatisfied with the continuity of the farce. But when he noticed the identity of the lady, he knows that they had fucked up. Who, it seems you know my identity, Honorable Mr. Wong. The words were calm and even feel like praising Mr. Wong, but he knows that the woman was unhappy with him and the words were full of sarcasm. He he he, how could I not know Ms. Eliza? Ms. Eliza is the owner of Maple.Leaf's biggest trading corporation, and also holds a high position in the government. This humble subordinate was just trash compared to Ms. Eliza. Mr. Wong said with sweat falling from his forehead. Well, if you know me the situation would be simpler then. My little brother there is the head chef of this restaurant. He has cooked for me and I feel satisfied with his dish. If you guys said that his dish was trash, then was I, the one who was satisfied by trash is trash too. The words before were directed toward Mr. Wong and his cronies like a blade on their neck. They could only be sorry for their shameless act and quickly kneel on mercy. Satisfied, of course, we are satisfied. Our words before were just joking and we just hoped that Ms. Eliza didn't take it to the heart. The cronies said while kneeling on the floor. Ms. Eliza glanced at them with disdain in her eyes. To her, those spineless men were really unworthy. Then, how about your words in taking this beautiful woman here as Honorable Mr. Wong's woman? Of course they all were kidding. This time, Mr. Wong also kneel with his cronies, hoping Ms. Eliza wouldn't take things too far. On the side, Ray was looking at them full of amazement. Well, this is how you face.slap someone, dear Mr. Side Character. 
Chapter 33 Spirit Beast Egg You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing the following mission. Please complete the dinner with utmost satisfaction from the guest. Rewards Silver Treasure Chest, with the interference from Eliza, the dinner problem was easily solved. Furthermore, seeing how Eliza has come out to protect Ray. Mr. Wang and his cronies couldn't have any more bad though about the restaurant and could only hope that Ray didn't pursue this matter anymore. Little brother, don't forget that you owe me one this time. Eliza said charmingly at Ray. She chatted a little with Ray before taking the old man to leave the restaurant with her. Thus, this signifies the end of the dinner appointment. Ray accompanied the employee to clean dot up, while the vermilion still hugging in happiness for the successful dinner. Even though there were many unexpected events during the dinner event, Ray's dish was able to satisfy the guests, and with Eliza's influence, they were pretty sure that their restaurant business will go beaming. At 9 o'clock p.m. Ray took the two vermilions back to their home. They were thanking and praising Ray for the whole day. At first, Ray was pretty elated with the praise, but soon he became rather embarrassed as the two were praising him non-stop with that lovesick eyes. Arriving at the Vermilion's residence, Ray was about to say goodbye to the Vermilions. But when he just reached the door, the two Vermilions pulled him and greet him with a deep kiss. Asterisk smooch asterisk, mum, Ray is mine you know. Rena said with displeasure to Anna. Hee hee, it's just a thank you gift for this young man who had resolved all our worries. Nothing more. Anna dodged Rena's question. She looks at Ray full of lust and quickly brought him to her room. Sorry Rena, but it's bad if you were to get pregnant during high school. So let mom replace you first to give our gratitude to this young man. Anna closed the door before Rena could say anything, she wrapped her hands around Ray's neck and went into the second round of deep kisses with Ray. Ms. Vermilion, isn't it bad for us to do this? Ray asked with a little bit of uncertainty. It's not like he didn't want to do this, but doing this with his girlfriend's mother and right in front of her girlfriend. It just didn't make sense in his mind. Ray was still pondering the situation when he feels soft lips were joined with his. Don't worry dear. Actually, Rena has long known about us. Yesterday I have told her about our situation and through a tough and difficult process, I was finally able to convince her. Hearing Anna's words, all the uncertainty in Ray's mind instantly disappeared. Only a fool would let go of the beautiful opportunity in front of him. So, without waiting any further, Ray pulls Anna into his embrace and started their making dot out session. Moan, ah dear, yesterday process was hard and difficult, so you need to work hard today to compensate me, the next morning, Ray wakes up from the bed with a beauty in his embrace. Last night's experience was unforgettable for him. He finally could take off his status as a virgin and become a true man. All of it would be perfect if Ray could forget some of yesterday's embarrassing moments. Since it was Ray's first time, he was almost dominated all the way with Anna. He would have found a stone and hide under it if not for the exhilarating pleasure. What's more embarrassing is the fact that Ray needed to use his attributes points to boost his strength and stamina so he could handle Anna. Sigh only a woman was already this hard, it seems I still have a long way before truly reaching a harem. Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing the hidden mission. Lost your virginity, rewards. Gold Trace Sure Chest X1, Anna Vermilion Affection Points plus 20, ding! Congratulations to the host for unlocking a repeatable mission. Finish pleasuring your woman in bed, rewards. System points plus 5, attributes points plus 5, Ray looked at the reward and was pretty astonished. The hidden mission reward was already good, but the thing that attracts him the most is the words, repeatable mission, Ana, so does this mean that the more I pleasure my woman, the stronger I get. Yes host, this mission was issued so the host won't be a beta MC that never pleasure his woman and would get ntr.ed later. So please work hard to keep your women satisfied host. Ray was really elated at Aina's words. Hee hee, OT asterisk 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 Dory, 
metamorph asterisk 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 asterisk, manata asterisk asterisk and the others. It seems I wouldn't follow in your footsteps. Aina, I have found it weird since yesterday. But don't you think it doesn't make sense that Rina would let her boyfriend and her mother have a relationship together? Don't worry host. The psychology of humans in this world was quite different than the earth you were before. So don't worry about having a harem and gain as much woman as you can in your harem smiley face, Ray shook his head at Aina's explanation. He didn't really understand what's wrong in the people's minds in these words, though at least this could guarantee him no problem in finding a harem. Well, it could only be done if the host was able to satisfy all your previous women. So based on the host's last night with Anna, the hosts still need to work hard. Hey, hey, just like Aina said, when Ray went down for breakfast with Rena and Aiko, nothing much has happened. Rena didn't really complain about his affair with her mother, instead, it was pure jealousy that fills her gaze. Humph, I let you go this time. But next time, remember to prioritize your girlfriend first before your thirsty mother. In law. With that, the breakfast was soon over and Rena, Aiko, and Ray need to go to school. Phew, finally everything was over. Ray was happy that he was able to finish the dinner event pretty successfully. Now all he needs to do was to focus on the bet with Sky and Sky's retaliation if he lost the bet. Asterisk Sai Asterisk living as a side character was hard. Aina, please check my information. Sure host, anything for you, three, name. Ray Carmelo, title. One for all, all for one asterisk, LV, 20, EXP 100 slash 2000, strength. 140. You could one punch a normal high schooler, agility. 90. A little bit more to be average, dexterity. 125. Who knows how you train your hands to be this flexible, stamina. 140. Even two experienced women will bow down to you, intelligence. 91. A bit below average, charm. 159. Your smile is as deadly as a kitchen knife, special skill. Lucky boy, 1 slash 1, mature woman charmer, inactive, lust aura lover's family ver, inactive, innate ability. Taking TV remote with feet. Sleep anywhere, everywhere. Wiggling ears. Peel apple perfectly. Intermediate cooking skill. Master dot level poetry, description. A side character in Super, Duper Love Plus Ultra Game, Protagonist Halo. 80, Villain Halo. 65, Special Item. Mature Woman Lust Perfume, and Used Attributes Point. 200, hmm, not bad. Since Ray had used some attributes points to strengthen his stamina and strength, his attributes points deposit has been lowered by not a small amount. It's not like he regretted it tough. Hearing Anna begging for mercy was enough for him to forget his displeasure in using the attributes points deposit. By the way host, the host still had some unopened treasure chest. Or to be exact two gold treasure chests, one silver treasure chest, and one special lover chest. Do you want to open them? Y slash N, sure, why not? Open them for me. Ray didn't think much and quickly agreed to Aina's suggestion. He was confident that he has prepared enough for Sky's retaliation. Ding. The host has opened two gold treasure chests, one silver treasure chest, and one special lover chest. Congratulations to the host in obtaining the following item. Spirit Beast Egg X1, Spirit Beast Nourishment Food X1, Spirit Beast Egg Hatcher X1, Slave Collar X1. Chato Make Kadasai. What's with that Spirit Beasts item? Shouldn't they all be included in one package? Why do I spend two gold treasure chests and one silver treasure chest only to get them separately? Furthermore, what the heck is that slave collar? Do you expect one of my harem to be a masochist? Well, the Spirit Beasts item were a pretty rare item host, so congratulations to the host for getting those Spirit Beasts item. 
It was such a bargain for obtaining them from a chest. And for the slave caller, Aina could only say no comment. Sai Aina was pretty docile during the last few days that make Ray forget the shamelessness of Aina. He could only repent himself not to easily trust this black belly, Aina. Please don't badmouth Aina host. Back to the topic, the host has finally reached LV20. So the experience point system was finally unlocked for the host. The host could see the experience point needed and the task for the host to gain another level. And last things, a special new feature has been unlocked for the host, please check it further in the gotcha tab. Chapter 34 Limited Item Gotcha You are listening at novelfull.audio Ray was pretty curious about Aina's remarks, so he didn't wait any longer and quickly asked Aina to open the gotcha tab. Welcome to the gotcha system, draw 1 for 10 points or draw 10 for 100 points, at least one silver item is guaranteed for every 10 draws. Pity 0 out of 100, featured normal banner. Skill Gotcha Item Gotcha, New Limited Banner Asterisk, Gaze of the Night Sky, Featured Item Dunkle Height Orchid, Diamond Rarity, Up Asterisk Rainbow Dot Colored Tulip, Gold Rarity, Up Asterisk Flute of the Night, Gold Rarity, Up Asterisk Nine Dot Colored Ginseng Potion, Gold Rarity, Up Asterisk, Pity 0 Slash 100, Time Left 29 days, 23 hours. Nima, why the heck it has become more and more like a gotcha game? Ray was getting more and more terrified at the flow of the event. If he's not wrong then the thing that should come after this was. Oh, by the way, the host could also recharge the system points using real.world money. The rate of change will be $1000 to one system point. There would be three types of recharge, 10 system points, 100 system points, and 1000 system points. For every first recharge of the amount, the host would get a bonus of 2x system points given. Why the heck Aina was getting more and more similar to a black dot bellied gotcha game developer that I have played before. The thought of spending 90 gotcha for getting the guaranteed SSR item and only lost to the 50 50 has sent shivers to Ray's spine. Sigh, forget it for the time being. I don't think I need those items urgently, and spending money on system points was unreasonable right now since I also need the money for my family consumption. Please just explain the spirit beast's item for me right now. Hee <laughs> hee, the host would soon regret saying those words. Aina would never do a losing business you know wink. But sure, the host could hatch the spirit beast egg by putting it in the incubator, and only by walking a specific amount of steps does the egg will be hatched by the incubator. For the rest of the items, Aina will tell the host after the egg hatched. Wait dot wait, wouldn't you get sued for copying too many series? This was a straight rip dot off from a monster dot catching series. Ah, dumb host. The egg needed specific steps to hatch because, with each step, the egg would absorb heaven and earth energy. Everything from Aina would be able to be explained scientifically, please don't protest host. Scientifically my A asterisk asterisk Ray was too tired to complain, he asked Aina to put the spirit beast egg into the incubator and stop bothering with Aina. On the men's toilet, a pretty handsome boy was sitting leisurely in the bathroom stall. Guji, what happened? Why are you suddenly looking so nervous? The boy is Sky, the main protagonist of the Super Duper Love Plus Ultra Gouge game, and in front of him is a small black animal, with two horns on its head and a furry tail on its back. Sky, the boy you told me before. I just detected a slight spiritual pressure from him. I don't think it's possible, but you must be wary about him. It could be a stray spirit beast has taken interest in him. Then, what should we do? The bet was already on, and I don't think I could let him go just like that. That scumbag has the nerve to be close with my goddess Rena. At least I should teach him some lesson for messing with my woman. Sky was a bit upset with the thing's words. He has been enduring no to harm Ray before the bet, but now he was told that Ray could have some backing and he should be wary about Ray. Humph, I just told you to be wary, 
not to suddenly change your plan. Even if he has the protection of a spirit beast, then so what? This Lord Gujiga is one of the strongest spirit beasts alive, how could this Lord be afraid of another spirit beast? Furthermore, the fluctuation is really weak, the spirit beast that has contacted him should be pretty weak. Listening to Gujiga, Sky breathes some relief. It seems that he could exact his revenge against Ray. Now, he just needs to think about how he should do his revenge so Ray would never dare to be close to his woman anymore. Hmm, how about hooking up his mother? I was told that his mother is still pretty young and beautiful. Furthermore, I couldn't help but thinking about his face when I kiss his mother in front of him he 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 hey. On the other side of the school, a beautiful woman was looking at the window while holding a letter with a poem written on it. The setting sun and the fading light gives way to the moon so white, in this world full of unfairness I would rather have a body full of scars and a head full of memories than a life of regrets and perfect skin. Eleanor gazed intently at the paper in her hand and let out a sigh. My dear Rock Hen, why haven't you appeared in front of me since that day? Did our meeting is just a fleeting moment for you, or would it be the sign of our story like I hoped? Since Ray was too focused on the Vermilion, he somewhat forgot about the business with Eleanor. The poor woman has waited for him since that day, but she would be puking blood with anger if she knows her Prince Charming were sleeping happily with his future mother. In law. Sigh should I tie him up and lock him next to me so he wouldn't ever leave me again. Wait, no Eleanor, you are a decent woman. Why would you think about tying up your future man? Eleanor condemns her own thought. She was a fair and adequate woman, why would she have such a wicked thought? Sigh but thinking of him being tied up and could no longer look at things other than me somehow make my heart beats faster. Eleanor looks at the sky, and with conviction in her eyes, she swears. My Prince Charming, I hope you wouldn't forget this Eleanor. If not, I will search the whole world to find you and tie you up in my feet. Thus we will never ever be separated again even with death. Back with Ray, right now was already long past school hours. But not like usual, he would directly head to the Vermilion's residence, now he was walking around the city. Hoping that it could fasten the egg hatching process. He was still cheerfully jogging around the town. Not knowing that there were already two people which had wicked thoughts about him. It would be normal for Skye to hate him, however, if he knows Eleanor's thoughts, maybe he could do nothing but protest with the absurdness of this world. Three hours of jogging has now become nothing hard for Ray. With his increased stamina, even if he was supposed to run 24 hours a day it would still be a piece of cake. I can do this all day. After spending most of his afternoon jogging, Ray went back to the Vermilion family where the three beauties have waiting for him. In the Vermilion residence, welcome back Ray, do you want to have dinner first, bath, or do you want me? Anna was the first to welcome Ray. The instinct of a woman to receive her husband back home was nothing to be underestimated. Mum. I already told you that I am Ray's girlfriend, so I should be his priority. The girlfriend, Rena also didn't want to lose. She quickly moves towards Ray and greets him with a deep kiss. Asterisk smooch asterisk curry and take a bath first darling, you stink a lot right now. Even the cold dot face Iko was now much warmer to Ray. She now acts like a docile little sister that always calls Ray Onii dot chan everywhere, though Ray could see the hidden lust deep in her eyes. Ray smiled at the Vermilions, how would someone be unhappy if he had those three beauties waiting for him every day? With that being said, Ray gives a light kiss to both Rena and Anna, then moves to the bathroom and wash his body. After finishing the bath, Ray continued his activity like usual. Having dinner with the Vermilions, cuddling with Anna and Rena before sleep. And move to the final and most important ritual with Anna during the night. Hey Anna, do you have something that could help with night activities? Like the skill or special item maybe? Well, the host could always try for item or skill gotcha. With the host's luck, maybe it won't be impossible to get the wanted skill in just one try. Ha, huh, how could it be? 
I know my luck since I have never gotten any SSR below 90 pulls in my last game. How could I get it in one try? Nevertheless, it won't hurt to try. Aina, pull one skill gotcha for me. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the gold item. 99,999 positions in bed, Ray was petrified with the announcement from Aina. A, nanny. Did I just use my one that your luck for this one pull? Chapter 35 You're not smart enough you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 35 You're not smart enough the days quickly passed, and without knowing, the final semester exam has finally come. Asterisk si asterisk if I could just forget everything and chill every day with the vermilions. Ray was still lamenting. During the last few days, he spent all his time playing around with the vermilions. Forgetting about the final exam and the bet with Sky. Ding. It was indicated that the host has been lazying around the past few days, and no progress has been made. A new mission will be issued to the host. Finish first in the final semester exam, and win the bet with Sky. Reward. Plus 1000 EXP, 5 system points, 5 attributes points. Penalty. The host will be forced to dance naked in front of the class. Ding. It was indicated that the host has been neglecting one of his heroines, a new mission will be issued to the host. Conquer the heroine X and solve her worry. Reward. Plus 1000 EXP, 5 system points, 5 attributes points. Penalty. The host will be forced to dance naked in the city hall office. Time limit. 13 days 12 hours, nanny. Why didn't this system slow down a bit and get a life? Ray was frustrated with the new mission from Aina. He was not putting any attention to things these days. The bet was one dot sided from Sky, and he didn't really care whether Sky will confess or not since Rena has already his. At first, he was putting much effort and study hard for the test, but since the restaurant incident. Anna and Rena have been clinging hard to him and make him can't concentrate well for the study. Ray was now struck by panic. He couldn't even say he would be able to get the first rank before. Now, it would be impossible for him. Hampering Sky also wouldn't work anymore. He was pretty confident before since he believes even if he couldn't get the first rank, he has the ability to make Sky's result worse than him. But now with the protection of the spirit beast, it seems he was destined to lose this one. Aina, I promise you to not be lazy anymore. Could you please forget this one and omit the mission and the punishment pleasy? Ding. It was indicated that the host has been trying to evade the mission. The mission will be adapted to the current situation. Finish first in the final semester exam, and win the bet with Sky. Reward. Plus 10 EXP, penalty. The host will be forced to dance naked in front of the class alongside Reiji. Your A asterisk asterisk, why did the reward get worse and the punishment was upgraded? Furthermore, why was now Reiji included in this? Poor boy, he didn't know that his fate was already tied with Ray. Ray sighed at the situation. It seems he could only put his hope in this item. He only wished that the item from Aina was really as strong as Aina stated it to be. Soon, the final semester exam started. Ray has met Sky before the class today and Sky has tried to provoke Ray. Nevertheless, Ray was too tired to bother with Sky, as all his nerve was now focusing on the exam. The teacher has distributed the exam paper and now they are waiting for the bell to signal the start of the exam. Ringing sound the exam in Maple.Leaf City was different from Earth. It consists of 500 multiple choice questions, covering all of the topics, and should be done in less than 6 hours. Ray put all his focus on the paper in front of him. He opened up the paper and looked at the question. One, two large and one small pump can fill a swimming pool in four hours. One large and three small pumps can also fill the same swimming pool in four hours. How many hours will it take four large and four small pumps to fill the swimming pool? 
2. Which of the following statement was true? 3. 1 plus 1 equals 4. If my age was half my mother ages 12 years ago, and now the orange tree next door has grown 5 meters, how much is the price for a new UPhone 13? Ray looked at the question and finished the math question without much problem. Even if he didn't study hard, math was always the strong point of a nerd like him. And with that, Ray continued to solve the remaining questions. 89. Felis Tigris was referring to. 90. Which of the following picture resembled Niels Bohr's theory the most? Four hours passed and was finally able to move to the last segment of the question. SH asterisk T, the question wasn't pretty hard. I don't think I would score below 80%, but with this, there's no way I would achieve the first rank. Sai let's look at the last question segment before deciding. Last segment, general knowledge segment. I should have no problem with this since the general knowledge of this world would not differ much from the earth right. 451, who is the first president of Atlantis? Dot. 452, Harda Tata Chef. L.C. Am I imagining things or the general knowledge topic was a bit off? 453. What is the name of Maple. Leaf Mayer's pet? How the hell am I supposed to know this? Sigh, the host hasn't worked hard enough. If you don't forget your study, this topic shouldn't be much problem for you. Forget it, no matter what, my only hope is on that thing. Aina. Give me the super dot luck pencil, Ray was already hopeless for answering the question only by himself. The question was too abstract and relying only on his knowledge maybe he wouldn't even get one point from the general knowledge. He he he, super dot luck pencil, let's see how miraculous you are. After that, during the last two hours, the classroom was disturbed by the sound of a pencil rolling more than 100 times. Everybody else. The guy who keeps rolling pencil during the exam. I don't know who you are, but I will find you and I will fill your ass with these pens. It was fortunate that the exam was arranged so the student can't see other students for the sake of cheating prevention. Thus saving Ray from the anger of more than 30 students in the class. After the exam was finished, Ray packs up his belonging and choose to went home. He had wanted to wait for Rena but it seems Rena was going to complain to the board about noise pollution during the exam. Sigh why are all of them so obsessed with noise pollution? Don't they see a truly smart guy won't bother with something like that? Like the saying in Ray's old hometown. Only the stupid care. Ignoring the ruckus about noise pollution, Ray left the school quickly, not noticing a malicious intent has been directed to him. Sky do you think it is the right decision to attack him right now? Didn't you say you would wait for the final exam result before harming him? A small black animal said to Sky with a worried look. Humph, don't blame me for being ruthless. At first, I wanted him to see my triumphant look when I reach first place. But because of that pencil noise, I couldn't concentrate in the last half of the exam. Now I don't dare to say that I certainly will get the first rank. Sky looks at Ray full of anger. If not for Ray, Rena would have fallen for him. Thinking of the goddess that slips off his hand because of Ray just makes him hate the boy more. Let's go Guji, let's give him a little taste of hell. Sky and Gujiga silently tailed Ray, waiting for the right moments to act. Host, Aina has been detecting too malicious intent getting closer to the host. It should be Sky and his spirit beast. Ray was not really surprised by Aina's notification. He has expected that Sky would act against him sooner or later, but to be this fast, he must be too desperate. It's okay. Let him follow me at the time being. If he really dares to act, he will get the consequences. Ray didn't really care much. Even if Sky has a space lock or some OP cheats, the escape rope has guaranteed him a safe exit. He just needs to be wary not to fall at Sky's first strike. With that, Ray walked around the city like a headless chicken. And behind him a pair of spirit beasts and the handsome boys followed him closely. In a twinkling, Ray has been walking for more than three hours, and the two guys still closely followed him. The hell with those two. 
Just act if you wanted, why do you need to act like obsessive lovers that afraid of her husband cheating? I have been walking around to give you an opportunity to attack me. Not only Ray, Sky, and the spirit beast's patient were also at the limit. Why did this boy keep walking around the city for three hours like a headless chicken? Don't he have anything better to do? And why did he keep going around crowded areas, it's hard to attack him like this. The two couldn't hear each other's thoughts. If they could know what the other's thinking, they might already been screaming and yelling at each other right now. Chapter 36 First Mon Battle You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Finally, Sky couldn't hold it anymore. He caught up to Ray and stopped right in front of Ray. Coward, come follow me if you dare. The word from Sky was like from the third. Rate movies villain. But thinking about the space lock and the other OP. Ability from Sky's spirit beasts, it seems it will make no difference to follow him first. Thinking like that, Ray without saying anything followed Sky into an old secluded building. In the old secluded building, Sky glances at Ray with mockery on his face. Be no calm, heh, it seems the coward still has some courage to face me. Bah, if it not for your OP space. Lock and other OP abilities, who would want to follow you here? Quick, show your move so we could get this done fastly. Ray replied with disdain in his eyes. The boy in front of him was just a normal boy before, but after getting the aid of spirit beasts, now he thinks he could do everything. Huh, what do you mean by space? Lock? Are you a Chinibu or something for imagining things like that? Let me guess, you will scream EQ Supurosion after this right. Stop acting dumb, you know the power of the guy next to you. Something like space. Lock was nothing to him. The expression on Ray's face grew cold. He already had enough of Sky's bullsh asterisk T, trying to bluff him with a half dot ass to act like that would not work. Humph, do you think everyone is a Chinibu like you? Don't get me on the same page as you. A, Ray looks at Sky's face and was a little dumbfounded. He was still thinking that Sky was bluffing. But the expression on his face seems like he really doesn't lie. Hey Aina, why do I feel that he isn't lying? Is he really that good at lying or has he deployed a trap against me? Ray's tone was now full of uncertainty. He has prepared so much for the spirit beast's OP ability, and now the way Skies act just confused him more. Oh, silly host. Aina has said that the spirit beasts could use some OP abilities, but Aina didn't say that Sky could use those abilities right now. The awakening was too recent and the spirit beasts haven't recovered enough to use those abilities. Don't be angry host, Aina was saying that thing so the host would be more motivated and didn't just laze around every day. Smiley face, Sai I'll forgive you because I know you're right. Without you telling me that, I wouldn't think Sky has a chance to threaten me and would not work hard. Ray was still chatting with Aina on his mind, however, to Sky, he was ignoring him and didn't put any care towards him which greatly hurt his pride. Don't ignore me, you bastard. Sky's roar instantly shifted Ray's attention back to Sky. Huh, finally you put some attention to me. Even though I don't care about your Chinibu things, doesn't mean I will put some slack on you. Now behold, the majestic spirit beast king and my partner. Came out Gujiga. With that, Black smoke suddenly enveloped Sky, and from there a big black furry hand came out of the smoke. Roar. When the black smoke finally lifted, Ray could see clearly the shape of Sky's spirit beast. It was a two-dot-meter tall humanoid beast with dark fur and two horns on its head. The beast looks like a giant Kong, but it has a long and sturdy tail behind it. Ding. It was indicated that Student Sky has challenged you into a spirit beast battle, fastening the process of spirit beast egg hatching. Ha! Huh. Ding ding cracking sound, congratulations, Chonky has been hatched from the spirit beast egg. Ahead of Ray, a small spirit beast suddenly appeared. Different from the scary dot looking beast of Sky, Ray's spirit beast could be considered cute. It was wrapped with a purple robe and has a ribbon on its head. Ding. 
a hatchling spirit beast was detected in the presence of the host. It was recommended to use the item spirit beast nourishment food, proceed. Y slash N, Ray didn't really understand the notification, but he knows the recommendation from Aina wouldn't be bad. So he didn't hesitate and quickly agree. The usage of spirit beast nourishment food was successful, the level of Chonky has been raised into 5. Spirit Beast Chonky, a type of spirit beasts from the southern east continent. It could control the power of shadow and is a tricky opponent to deal with. LV5 EXP 0 slash 20, HP 150 slash 150, BP 150, passive. Illusory Body, Special Ability. Shadow Hands. Bark. Scratch. Isn't this straight copying from the monster battle with the small electric mouse? Well, never mind though, let's solve this issue first. Student Sky sent out Spirit Beast Gujiga, go. Chonky. Heh, I have known that you also had some contact with the Spirit Beast, but I never thought that your Spirit Beast will be as silly as you. Sky didn't wait long to start. Just when Chonky appeared on the battlefield, he commands his monster to raise its limb and rush at Chonky. Guji, use dropkick at the weird monster. The opposing spirit beast heeds to Sky's command. With the strength of his acceleration, Gujiga raised his body jump to the sky and used a dropkick. Rumble asterisk rumble asterisk from the after effect of the kick, dust scattered everywhere around the battlefield. The impact of the move was very heavy and should not be underestimated. No, Chonky. Ray was worried about Chonky. Even though it hasn't been long since the two met, seeing Chonky get harmed because of him left a strange taste on his mouth. The dust quickly cleared and Gujiga was seen there roaring while slamming its chest proudly. Strangely, even though the damage should be severe, Ray couldn't see any shadow of Chonky there. It was like Chonky was never been there. Suddenly, asterisk boing. Boing asterisk Ray sighed gladly when he heard the sounds. He looks in the direction of the sound and found Chonky was jumping happily there without any trace of harm. Spirit Beast Chonky, HP 150-150, it was a relief that Chonky could escape unharmed, though the way Chonky could dodge the attack was a bit confusing to Ray. Host, don't worry. It's the effect of Chonky passive ability. If you were still unconvinced, you could check his passive ability. Spirit Beast Chonky, Passive. Illusory Body, Description. There is a 50% chance for Chonky to be left unharmed from physical attack. What the heck, this little guy is broken as hell. Aina, that big monster, Gujiga. Could you see what abilities he could use right now? Of course host, Aina is the most omnipotent system in this universe. Doing things like this is an easy cake for Aina. Please wait a moment. Spirit Beast Gujiga, LV, 80 asterisk, locked, currently 8, special ability. Dropkick. Chokeslam. Suplex. Why do I feel those abilities name is not unfamiliar? Anyway, of those abilities should be a physical attack, so there should be no problem against him. Ray looked strangely at Gujiga and suddenly a wicked smile appeared on his face. He he he, Aina used the lucky boy skill for me. Sky looked at Ray and instantly feel cold on his spine. The boy in front of him was too weird. The attack just now should have blown away his spirit beast, but now he had that wicked smile on his face. Stop putting strong act. Your spirit beast has been lost. Now you don't have any protection left. Hee <laughs> hee, do you think so? The response was out of Sky's prediction. The strange feeling just keeps getting stronger and now he was in hurry to finish the battle. Guji, stop playing around. Finish him off with the suplex move. Guji nodded at Sky's command. He shoots toward Ray and was ready to use suplex on him. Just when Gujiga was about to reach Ray, a black hand appeared out of nowhere and strangled Gujiga. Chonky, use shadow hand and bind the big monkey. 
The weird spirit beast that Sky thought has been finished now appears in front of him as nothing has happened. Spirit Beast Gujiga, HP, 250-255, as I expected, Chonky's attack wasn't really that high. But with enough time, it should be no problem for Chonky to finish off the monkey. The strangle didn't held for long. Gujiga's physical strength was too strong to be pinned down easily by Chonky, and with that, a hide-and-seek battle from Chonky and Gujiga started. Gujiga has tried to hit Chonky multiple times. But with Chonky passive couple with the Lucky Dot Boy ability, those attacks couldn't do any harm to Chonky. On the other side, Chonky slowly wear down Gujiga by spamming Shadow Hand and Scratch. Roar Gujiga do all his best to hit the weird spirit beast, nonetheless his stamina wasn't infinite. Just five minutes later, Gujiga's strength has dropped below 20%. It seems the recent awakening impact him more than he thought. Now's the chance. Chonky, use Shadow Hand to bind his body and finish with Scratch right on its eyes. Chonky heard Ray's command and moved just like his instruction. Shadow Hand was used and successfully bind Gujiga who has been tired off by the battle, author notes. Hi everyone, Rissangel here. I have recently created a new story for WPC, please check it out Side.Characters Book of Evolution in a Survival Game World in 2024, a voice came from nowhere and transported half of the Earth's population into a survival game world with a goal. To survive. The new world was full of danger but also bring the opportunity to humankind to evolve. Follow our protagonist's journey who has been mocked as a side character all his life in his journey to be his own story's main character. To everyone who likes my story but is annoyed by the system, please check this out. There will be no annoying system there, smiley face. Chapter 37 Special information you are listening at novel full audio. With Gujiga being tied up by the shadow hands, the already tired beast didn't have any way to break the binding. He struggles with all his effort, but the binding was too tough for him to break. Chonky looks at the struggling beast and didn't fail to utilize the chance. Chonky jumped high into the air, and a big shadow hand appeared out of thin air, scratched the move hit Gugaga right at its eyes, and the struggling beast instantly slumped down the floor. Brack, Guji. Sky was panicked at the moment. With the fall of Gujiga, now he was vulnerable and wouldn't be able to defend himself. He looked towards Ray and found that Ray was smiling evilly while slowly moving closer to him. What do you want? I warn you to not be unreasonable. You can harm me now, but I swear that I will have my revenge. Sky roared at Ray with all his mind. Ha, huh, weren't you the one that was unreasonable at first? I remembered that I didn't do anything outrageous, but you tailed me and brought me here just for that big monkey to trash me up. Now you threaten me not to be unreasonable, how shameless are you? Ray looked at Sky with disdain. He has long known that most protagonists were just shameless bastards that somehow got the favor of heaven, though seeing it directly really makes him scorn those protagonists more. Aina, wouldn't it be easier if I just ruin this guy's future or even break those four limbs of him? Host, it was not recommended to be full of malign right now. Sky's protagonist's halo was still too high, and directly inflicting harm on him would only trigger his plot armor. It was recommended for the host to find some way to break Sky's mental slowly and decrease his protagonist's halo first. Ray nodded at Aina's word. Even though he really disdains Sky now, he knows that it wouldn't be easy to finish off the main protagonist. The plot armor was too thick, and it could be counter-beneficial to him. With that in mind, Ray approaches Sky and puts his hand on Sky's shoulder. Don't worry, I'm not that unreasonable. If you kneel down for me right now, maybe I could let you off. Ray was putting up a smile against Sky, however to Sky, that smile was more threatening than anything he ever faced. Fuck off, who would kneel down for you? I would rather have you interrupted all my limbs than kneeling down to a bitch. Sky's response was not really out of Ray's prediction. Every main protagonist always had high self-esteem and wouldn't even bow down to the world. 
Instead, Ray would be disappointed if Sky easily kneels down to him. He he he, don't be that fast to reject my offer. Sooner, you would regret those words and beg to kneel for me. Ray's words hit Sky like knives slicing his heart. For him, the thing he hated the most since his childhood was to be looked down on by others. His childhood could be said as a painful memory for him. As an orphan, he naturally was seen with pity and full of a sneer. That was also the reason why Sky always tried his best in both study and other things. With time slowly progressing, he proved himself by being the best in many aspects, proving many people wrong. This time, being looked down and forced to kneel by Ray has invoked those painful memories. He has always convinced himself that he was the protagonist of this world, and should be stand above others. This makes him somewhat obsessed with obtaining the most beautiful woman and having the thought that only he deserves to be with those beautiful goddesses. If I'm not wrong, the reason you hated me like this and tried to attack me was that I am close to Rena Wright. He he he, I wanted to see your face when you see the woman you like was being embraced by me every night. Scram, who would believe you? Thinking that the goddess Rena would like you is already a blasphemy. Ha, huh, but isn't you right here attacking me, thinking that I might have some relationship with your goddess? Sky's face was going darker and darker with Ray's every word. The man in front of him was still giving that eerie smile and it makes him really uncomfortable. Well, it was not a problem if you didn't believe me. Rena should have arrived at home. Imagining her shaking her hips by herself while riding my little brother, and moaning with pleasure for my every move has made me miss her a little bit. So. I'm done spending time here with you. Ray stopped his words and turned back from Sky. He told Chonky to release Gujiga from his binding, and with that, the two left the abandoned place. Ray. You and me, our grudge wouldn't end here. Back with Sky, his mentality was a little bit shaken. From his defeat to Ray and Ray's words of Rena shaking her hip under Ray, all of it has given a big blow to Sky. He started to question if he was really the main protagonist of this world. And the only thing he knows, he needs to kill Ray for everything to get back on his way. Ding! Congratulations to the host for winning the first Spirit Beast battle, reward. Unlock Spirit Beast Stats Appraisal, Self, Unlock Spirit Beast's Attributes Points Converter, Self, Please work hard to be the best like no one ever has. Ding! You defeated Student Sky in Spirit Beast's battle. Rewards Chonky EXP plus 40, $200 Ray has just left the abandoned place when the notifications from Aina sounded. He looks at the rewards and frowned. Aina, could you tell me about the newly unlocked abilities? The first ability, Spirit Beast Stats Appraisal, Self, could be used to appraise host Spirit Beast stats, like Strength, Speed, SPATK, and others, not only displaying the BP stats. While the Spirit Beast's Attribute Points Converter, Self, could be used to convert the host's and used attributes point to strengthen the host's Spirit Beast in ratio 2. 1. As the host knows, the host's current body has an upper limit on the stats, so it was recommended to use the unused stats to strengthen the host's spirit beast. Aina's explanation wasn't really that far dot off from Ray's guess. It was pretty intuitive but he still decided to ask Aina to make sure. Ray nodded and was thrilled at the thought of his newly gained abilities. Doesn't this ability was a bit too OP and will pretty sure make him the best spirit beast trainer. The host doesn't need to think too much. The ability was indeed pretty strong, but the host's starting point was a bit too late compared to other spirit beasts trainers, or Daoist. Compared to them, the host and sky was just a tiny speck of dust on their nail. The strongest of them could easily blow up mountains and even threaten a country with just a group of them, dot sai what a way to blow up excitement. Ray knows he was currently still weak, even so, with the existence of Aina and his cheats, he would have no problem contending with those big shots soon. Spirit Beast Chonky, a type of spirit beasts from the southern east continent. It could control the power of shadow and is a tricky opponent to deal with. LV, 7, EXP 1070ths, 
HP 170-170, BP 170, ATK. 5, DEF 50, SPD 150, Spirit Energy. 475, Passive. Illusory Body, Special Ability. Shadow Hands. Bark. Scratch, A. Ray rubs his eyes to confirm he saw the right information of his spirit beast. Wasn't his stats a bit, underwhelming. Host, Chonky was a special existence in the spirit beast's race. He is a purely astral being, so it was normal that his ATK and death stats are so low. In fact, the ATK stats refer to physical attack, and Chonky physical attack was no stronger than a newly born baby. Ray freaked out a bit at Aina's words. Fortunately, his opponent just now was a purely physical attack spirit beast, and he didn't try to use Chonky's physical attack to deal with them, if not he and Chonky would have been instantly obliterated by Sky. By the way host, you still have one more unchecked notification. Ding! Congratulations to the host for winning his first battle with the main protagonist. Rewards Special information, attributes points plus 20, sky protagonist halo point 150, host protagonist halo plus 50, host villain halo plus 60, hmm, it was not rare for Ray to get a reward like this, still, the special information pretty intrigued him. Normally Aina would tell him everything he asked, so this special information must be really special to be issued as a reward. You could tell me the special information now Aina. Sure host whisper. Ray's eyes shone brightly at the special information. The heck, it's really worth to be called special information. I never thought you will be this wicked Aina. Oh please host, there was no wicked information, only wicked person who used the information wrongly. He 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 he, that doesn't change the fact that this information is really suitable for me right now. I really love you so much, Aina. Ray said to Aina in a joyful mood. Thank you host, but please don't fall in love with Aina. Aina didn't have that thought about the host. Why couldn't you just be nice to me? Chapter 38 Strengthening You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Author Notes Hi everyone, Rissangel here. I was really surprised when the total reads have reached 250k today, furthermore, I also received a gift from Daoist OGNY2E. Therefore, commemorating the 250k total reads, I will upload three chapters today. Please enjoy. Oh, by the way, none of you have guessed correctly the special information Ahe, smiley face. Author notes end. This guy. After finishing the business with Sky, Ray spends some time alone back at his home. He actually wanted to get back at the Vermilion's residence, however, with the emergence of Chonky and Gujiga, he thought that he needs to sort out his spirit beasts first. Right now, Ray has saved 220 attributes points and 430 system points. He was considering how to use them wisely and not waste any points. Aina, please tell me the specific uses of items for limited gacha. Sure host, 3. Dunkelheit Orchid, Diamond Rarity, Up Asterisk, Description An item used to enhance the bloodline of astral and dark dot type spirit beasts. Some spirit beast could evolve after taking this item. Rainbow dot colored tulip, gold rarity, up asterisk, description. An item to strengthen the body of the spirit beast, could also be used as a 10 dot star ingredient for cooking. Flute of the night, gold rarity, up asterisk, description. An item to increase the understanding and experience gaining of an astral or dark dot type spirit beast. 9. Dot colored ginseng potion, gold rarity, up asterisk, description. An item to strengthen your kidney. With this item, even the hell empress will bow down to you. Hmm, most of the items were useful to Chonky. Does this mean that I should prioritize Chonky development first, Ray pondered for a bit. I guess getting skill is also important, but seeing how the past event has been going, the spirit beast awakening should be sooner than predicted. My target is to be at least as strong as awakened Gujiga, 
therefore it was right to spend item and points for Chonky first. Ray sighed as he decided to strengthen Chonky. He looked at his spirit beast and could only shake his head helplessly. His spirit beast is really different than other spirit beasts. Chonky's look was nowhere intimidating nor scary, you could even say that Chonky is rather cute and looks weak. Asterisk Boing, Boing Asterisk Chonky was still hopping happily in Ray's home. It was still a newborn spirit beast, so its curiosity about the world is currently at its peak. With that much excitement, Chonky has been hopping around each and every part of Ray's home, wrecking it on the way. Sigh, maybe I should teach Chonky how to clean by itself. With the help of shadow hands, it should be easy for him to clean the whole house alone. Back to the topic, Ray shifts his focus back to his information panel. It took him a long time to decide, but finally, he made up his mind. Aina, use the leftover attributes points to strengthen my stats other than charm to its limit. At first, he was a bit afraid of the pain while doing this, but thinking his future opponent would be a bunch of OP bastards, he also needs to at least have enough strength to protect himself. Sure, wait a moment host, three, strengthening process begins. One second. Two seconds. Three seconds. Ten minutes. Ray had waited for the painful process to be done, the last process has left some deep marks on him, even though some time has passed without any problem, he doesn't dare to say the process will be free of pain. Eleven minutes. 12 minutes, bl.net, ding. Congratulations to the host, the strengthening process has been done. All stats other than charm has been increased to 160. Eh. Wait. Is it finally done? Ray was a bit confused. The painful process he gritted his teeth and waited for didn't come as expected, and now he was at loss. Aina, is it really done? Of course host, with Aina's ability, thing like this is as simple as snapping fingers. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you have no fingers? I'm sorry host, there's some misinformation before. The strengthening process hasn't been completely finished. Please brace yourself for the painful part of the strengthening process. Wait. A-R-R-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-
maybe focusing on the special information first would be better. Ray closed his thought and called Chonky. He would not risk going outside alone. At the minimum, with Chonky he would still be safe even if a weak spirit beasts attack him. He changed his clothes, put up a tuxedo for formal looks, and called up a taxi to go into the Maple.Leaf City Business District. Sky, your suffering was only beginning, he he he. Chapter 39 Kyuko Wagner you are listening at NovelFull.Audio Ray gets down from the taxi and takes a look at the magnificent buildings ahead of him. Those buildings were located at the center of Maple.Leaf City, a super high dot class business district with only more than 1 billion assets companies that could stay there. He looks around for a bit and found the building he was looking for. Stellar Cosmetic, a company based on the cosmetic industry and was the industry spearhead in Maple.Leaf City. A cosmetic giant that focused on serving the high dot class society with premium products, and even its membership has been a sign of high social class in nowadays society. Normally, such a company would have no ties with Ray. But his purpose today was none other than the company's boss, Kyuko Wagner. The special information from Aina before was directing him to this company's lady boss. She was none other than the long dot lost mother of our beloved main protagonist, Sky. Aina has told Ray that after leaving Sky at the orphanage, Kyuko founded the Stellar Cosmetic along with her husband. However, her husband soon passed away not long after she founded her business, making the lonely and weak widow struggle by herself in the hard society. Later, all her effort paid off and the Stellar Cosmetic grows into a giant company like what it was now. Her only sorrow is even though she had many assets and connections, Kyuko couldn't find any info about her long dot lost son. And that's how Ray would come in and exploit the fact to get close to her. Dot, hey Aina, isn't it a little bit unreasonable for such a big company like this to not be able to find a person? Host, don't ask Aina. You should blame that question on the lazy writing of Super, Duper Love plus Ultra Game. The writer had left so many plot holes for his convenience so, at the end of the story, the main protagonists would enjoy all the benefits. Sai you're not wrong. I could only regret that I was transmigrated into such a trashy game like this. If I'm not wrong, she should only meet with Sky at the end of the story, and she will be Sky's biggest backer in overcoming all his hurdles. Yes host, with her money and influence, it will be hard for the host to continue harassing Sky, so it was recommended for the host to try harming their relationship. Ray nodded at Aina, he once more checked his appearance, and after making sure it was okay, he walked into the building lobby. Sir, please state your name and purpose for coming here. It was the lady receptionist that Sky approached. Getting into contact with the company's boss was not that easy, so he needs to pass through the receptionist first. My name is Ray, and I'm here to meet Ms. Kyuko. Then Mr. Ray, have you make an appointment with Ms. Kyuko? Of course, my appointment was in another 30 minutes. Please contact Ms. Kyuka and tell her that I have arrived here. Thank you for your cooperation, sir, it was indeed recorded as you stated, but we need to make sure you are the correct person because recently there are many people who tried to meet Ms. Kyuko. Following that, the receptionist contacted Ms. Kyuko's secretary and Ray was soon approved to meet Kyuko at her office. This way sir, please follow me to Ms. Kyuko's office. If any of you wondered how Ray could make an appointment with such a big company like Stellar Cosmetic. It was obviously via relentless begging to Aina. Ray knew how precious the information and he couldn't waste the chance. So after two hours of begging and nagging with Aina, he finally gets Aina to make an appointment with Kyuko. He 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 he, I love you so much, Aina. Only this time host, only this time. Shortly, Ray and the receptionist arrived at the highest floor of the building, where Kyuko's office was located. The receptionist politely direct Ray to Kyuko's office and asked for leave after sending him there. Asterisk door opening sound asterisk Ray opened the door and entered the office. Inside the room, there stood a beautiful mature woman. I would die happy if I could get her to step on me. That was the most common impression that she gets from other people. 
The woman had long brown hair, with a super voluptuous body that even Anna would shy when compared to her. She wears a woman's formal suit, magnifying her aura and somehow increases her charm as a mature office lady. Another rare beauty. Well, even though the game was trashy, I could at least compliment them for their women's design. None of their design has disappointed me so far, and I could even say that this one had surpasses most of my expectations. In fact, Ray's expectation of Kyuko wasn't low. He had tasted the beauty of a mature woman from Anna before, so seeing the main protagonist's mother had made him rather excited. Good evening Mr. Ray, or should I say Mr. Daoist Ray? Kyuko's words suddenly break the silent atmosphere. Ray could feel there was some threat in her eyes and she didn't look at him pleasingly. The host doesn't need to be surprised. The host has the aura of Chonky around you, so it would natural for her to conclude the host is a Daoist. Ray's absence of response has further convinced Kyuko that Ray was indeed a Daoist. So Mr. Honorable Daoist, could I bother to ask you why such an honorable figure like you has come to this humble company? The words were very polite, even so, it couldn't hide the deep disdain Kyuko feel towards Daoists. For Mr. Daoist to be able to falsify a sudden meeting in stellar cosmetic, Mr. Daoist's power shouldn't be low and should not be bothered to mess with this humble company. Kyuko could only conclude that Rei is a strong Daoist. He could feel the spirit beast around Rei was not particularly strong, but most of the strong Daoist know how to temper their aura to looks weak. Furthermore, changing the appointment list without anyone noticing is not an easy thing. It would need a special spirit beast that was an expert in stealth or concealment and only a strong Daoist would have them. Rei could only sigh at this. It seems this time would be much more meddlesome than the previous heroines. Trying to reason with her wouldn't work, therefore Ray's only choice is to drop the bomb at the beginning. Don't be so fast to decide. I have the information that you wanted, in fact, I know exactly the location of your long dot lost son. Chapter 40 Negotiation You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Author Notes Hi everyone, Rissangel here. Finally, we have reached Chapter 40. I am really grateful to everyone who has read and supported this story up to this point. I really wanted to quickly continue the story, but sadly I need to request a two or three days break for this story. I would like to use the two. Three days break to correct most of the grammatical errors in the previous part and do some editing for chapters 1.40. Another thing to do is I would post some polls in those periods regarding some aspect of this story, like whether you like it to be R.18 and etc. Once again, I say thank you to everyone, and please enjoy the story. Author Notes End Asterisk silence asterisk with the fall of Ray's words, the atmosphere in the office suddenly turned silent. A young man no more than 20 years old could easily alter her appointment log, combined with the fact that he has brought up the information about her long dot lost son. All those facts added together making Kyuko's mind into chaos. In fact, Kyuko was also a strong Daoist before, however, due to the loss of Gujiga and her opponent attack, she could no longer utilize her maximum power as a Daoist. If the boy before her had some malicious intent, she doesn't know whether she could stop him. I don't know where Mr. Daoist has gotten information about my long dot lost son. However, Mr. Daoist wasn't the first one to bring this up with me, and all those information until now were fakes. Kyuko said with a frown. Her multi-billionaire company couldn't find any information about his son, so how could this boy appear out of nowhere saying that he has the information? Even if he was a strong Daoist, a Daoist was nowhere omnipotent and normally they would have no care in worldly matters like this. Since Ms. Kyuko didn't believe me, then I could only leave. Though, if you could feel the presence of spirit beast in me. You should also be able to find a trace of another spirit beast lingering around me. Ray shrugged his hands and acted like he didn't care. He had laid out the bait, now he only needs the fish to strike it out. Hearing Ray's words, Kyuko didn't instantly try to feel the spirit beast's trace around him but noticing that Ray didn't exactly have any malicious thought, Kyuko chooses to believe him this time. 
this feeling. Kyuko's face frowned more when he noticed the similar traces around Ray's body. Gotcha, Dot noticing that Kyuko should have taken the bait, Ray acted like he was going to leave the office. Kyuko has leaped into the trap, now it's time for him to increase the leverage. Wait. Kyuko hurriedly ran into Ray and held his arm. Mr. Ray, the spirit beats trace on your body. It's Gujiga, the one that was sealed in you, I had some contact with him a few weeks ago. Kyuko nodded and didn't refute Ray's words. She could feel the trace was really weak and it should have been some time since the last time he met Gujiga. In reality, all of this was a part of Ray and Aina's scheme. If the trace had shown that they met today, Kyuko could use his connection to find Sky's location, and Ray will lose all the benefits. Mr. Ray, Kyuko apologized for her impolite behavior before. The company situation was a bit hectic lately, so Kyuko's temper hasn't been good lately. If Mr. Ray wouldn't mind, Kyuko would invite Mr. Ray into a drink. Ray didn't reject Kyuko's information. He followed Kyuko and took a sit in the office. Mr. Ray, about my son. Ms. Kyuko, please calm down a bit. Kyuko wasn't able to finish her words because of Ray's interruption. Ms. Kyuko, it's not that I didn't want to give Ms. Kyuko the information. But I need Ms. Kyuko to show some sincerity to me. Mr. Ray, I will do everything I could to gain this information, please Mr. Ray just tells me the condition. She was finally given some hope in searching for her long dot lost son, it was no wonder she was so excited and didn't think much about Ray's condition. Hee <laughs> hee, really. It's not about the condition, I was more concerned that Ms. Kyuko didn't seem to take me seriously. From the first time I step into this office, I felt that Ms. Kyuko didn't take me seriously. Ray smiled while drinking the tea Kyuko served to him. It was a simple word from Ray, but that simple word was like a nightmare to Kyuko. She was indeed didn't take Ray seriously at first, and now she couldn't refute any of Ray's words. Mr. Ray, I. Ms. Kyuko, please. Ray didn't give Kyuko any chance to finish her sentence. In a negotiation like this, it was very important to keep the dominant position, especially if you wish to control the other side. It was starting to get boring Ms. Kyuko. I could guess that Ms. Kyuko wanted to apologize and offer me some remuneration. But, do you think a Daoist like me needs any of your remunerations? Critical hit, your company might be a strong and wealthy industry, but to a supreme Daoist, any of their family could easily destroy your company with a single sentence. Double kill, even if you gather all your company's asset and give it to me, it couldn't offset the fact that you have disrespect a supreme Daoist like me. Triple kill, it seems it will be easier to give you my warning if I have teared up one of your son's limbs and brought it here. Quadra kill Ray was about to give his finishing blow and complete his combo with a penta kill, however, it seems all the combo was too much for the weak woman in front of him. Kyuko's eyes were red and she couldn't hide her full of fear face. The charismatic lady boss was gone, and now she was only a weak woman who wanted to find her long dot lost child. Kyuko stood up from the chair and went in Ray's direction. She stopped right in front of Ray and suddenly bent her knees to kneel down. Mr. Ray, I know Kyuko has made a grave mistake for offending Mr. Ray. Kyuko can't say that she deserves Mr. Ray's forgiveness. But Kyuko begs Mr. Ray to let go of my son. Kyuko will give Kyuko's everything, even this unworthy and dirty body to serve Mr. Ray if Mr. Ray had wished to do so. Kyuko felt that she has fallen to the depth of hell. Because of her underestimating Ray, she had lost her hope to met with her child, even more, her child now was in a dangerous situation because of her. To a mother, there was no worse situation than making her child's life in danger because of her. She was ready to throw her everything to Ray, or even doing a suicide attack if Ray still won't forgive her and tried to harm her child. Then suddenly, she felt a warm hand touching her chin. The warm hand held her chin and forced her to look towards Ray. Miss Kyuko, I don't want any of your assets. All I want is you. Author Notes Hi everyone, Rissangel here. 
I have recently created a new story for WPC, please check it out Side.Characters Book of Evolution in a Survival Game World in 2024, a voice came from nowhere and transported half of the Earth's population into a survival game world with a goal. To survive. The new world was full of danger but also bring the opportunity to humankind to evolve. Follow our protagonist's journey, who has been mocked as a side character all his life in his journey to be his own story's main character. To everyone who likes my story but is annoyed by the system, please check this out. There will be no annoying system there, smiley face.